Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I don't know, this idea just came to me very fleetingly this morning. Um, I got up super early at 6.45 and I worked and then I did workout. And then I was like, what else am I going to do today? Because I actually don't have a lot planned, which is a little bit rare. So I was thinking up um, about filming and I got this video idea of being an influencer for the day. Now, this video is just supposed to be for fun. I'm not trying to offend anyone because honestly, influencers work super hard. I know a couple people personally that have really huge followings and are considered an influencer and they work their butt off. So again, not trying to offend anyone. This is just supposed to be a little fun video. So I'm going to be spending my day how we probably think influencers spend their day. How I think influencers start their day is a workout, you know? You gotta have the, uh, the, the good bod. Okay, so I'm not, um, quite there yet, but nobody, nobody likes an influencer that is just naturally, uh, skinny and toned and whatever. You gotta work out. And you gotta show people how to have a body like you. So, we're gonna do a workout. I already worked out today. I actually did, I'm actually doing this 21 minute vlog Lotties here on YouTube. Uh, her 21 day challenge, you move 21 minutes every single day. And so I did one of her workouts this morning and then I did 20 minutes uh, running on the treadmill. And I'm so tired and I'm so sore. So. I've technically already worked out, so I'm just gonna pretend for all of you. I'm gonna take some pictures of me pretending to work out, but you gotta look good while you're working out. You can't look like a tomato mess. And we're gonna have to like cake it on today because we want to appear flawless. No natural girls allowed. All right, I may have gone a little bit overboard with the eyeliner. Oops, and I'm not a huge fan of my hair because realistically, I should have showered today, but it's fine. Um, we curled it because obviously, when we work out, we have to look good and we have to have perfectly curled hair. So we're gonna work out, well, fake workout for the photo. Now, I've never taken workout photos before because I'm not super confident um, with my body, but it's fun. We're gonna do it. So I'm trying to figure out my aesthetic. So we're gonna hide. Actually, maybe the weights would look cool in the photo. And we'll use the eight pounders so that everybody knows we're super strong. No fives or threes here. <laughs> Excuse my mom. Okay, now I'm going to set up my tripod and I actually love this tripod. I got it off of Amazon. It's Autumn Tech or Tomb Tech or whatever. Um, it's amazing like i will link it in the description because i don't know how any influencer takes pictures without this bad guy so you open him up do, 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 and then this pops out and this is for your phone so you can turn it like that then i take maybe don't put my phone in upside down Okay, so now that it's in this, then this literally extends 
so tall. So like I can put this on the ground. Like it it goes so tall. Um then so I could turn it like this if I wanted to. Um I'm going because it's for Instagram. I'm going to keep it upright. But and then you can tip it. It's a little bit harder when it's in this position so that if you went this way you could tip. But then the best part about it is that it comes with this little clicker and it's Bluetooth so I can control my camera. So I'll be able to see myself and then I can click. Oh, I have to turn it on. Duh. Look at me learning how to be an influencer. Okay, then it's turned on and then click and it takes the picture. So it makes taking uh, photos really, really simple. Okay, I feel so awkward. Okay. Oh, we gotta put it in portrait mode. Now. I don't know, should I do like a plank maybe? The plank look cool. Again, I have but I have to be able to take this photo. But I've been working on my planks, so they they look cool. No, that's a terrible photo. Ugh. Okay, so I actually really like that one. Look how, ooh, I favorite that. Um, not bad. No, there's still the armpit bulge, but in influencer fashion, maybe we can edit it to make it a little bit less noticeable. Um, I like that I'm looking in the camera in this one, but I don't like the size of my arm, so. Yeah, these ones are just weird, like what? Why did I think that was a cute pose? Like, no, no. See, that one looks kind of cool, actually. I just wish I actually had muscle to, like, show it off. But, okay, okay. See, yeah, like, I like that one. And this is, like, my color scheme for my Instagram. And with... So this little pop of color is not like a big deal, but then everything else will match perfectly. So I think we can make one of these work. Look at the plank one. <laughs> like, no. Now we're gonna go in and we're gonna edit the photo. Um, normally influencers take way more photos than what I just took, but it's not my fault that I'm naturally talented and I got the shot like that. And we have a lot more of shoots to do today, so no time to waste. Okay, we're gonna do the last one. Okay, so import that. My hand looks a little bit funny because I'm trying to hold the clicker, but whatever. Import to Visco. This is where I edit all my photos because it's so easy. Then I go into Visco, click edit. I, these are my presets that I use all the time. For my feed specifically, I use HB1 or HB2. Um, it depends obviously on the photo, but I usually go with HB2 because I like the darker tone. So exposure, like I'm even going to bring the exposure down a little bit. Contrast, sometimes you can increase the contrast and it looks good. In this one, I think it just makes the photo look overworked. Um, adjust, I could crop, but I'm not going to crop. Sharpen, always a good idea. White balance, I usually bring down my white balance a little bit. Um, 
for like a cooler vibe. Yeah, I think that one's good. And anything else, like if I want to edit, see like the blue, if I want that to be a little bit more muted, I could go down like that. Or if I think that it's a little bit, the photo's a little bit too yellow, I can decrease the yellow. Um, but I also want to look tan, so that's the, the struggle. Ooh, my nails match my weights. How cute. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do in Visco. There's so many different things that you can do. Like I can up my skin tone. Like make it more pinky, make it more yellowy. Um, I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah, there's nothing else. So next, I'm gonna save it. Am I still screen recording? Yeah, I am. Then, I'm gonna go into Facetune, open photo. Here we have the edited one. All right. Now, in influencer fashion, you gotta smooth it all out. Nobody wants you to have real skin and flaws. And smoothing it out actually got rid of like the hair that's all over my dirty leggings. So that works perfect. Um, okay, then you wanna go in with details. This is specific. Okay, so you want the weights, you know, that's good. And then you want your facial features. So I go in and I uh, do the eyes and the lips. Um, maybe my nails, and that's probably all the details. Whiten, if I have any white in, like I can, I can whiten my walls behind me a little bit more. Okay, now let's see if we can not reshape this arm. I don't know, I'm not good at this, so I try not to edit my photos. Does that make my arm look weird? Oops. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, my boobs are really small. Back, back. Hmm, maybe if we reshape. Honestly, I could just like crop it too. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna crop it all the way to where my skin is showing. And I think, yeah, that'll be fine. So now this is my um, planoli and this is where you can plan out your content. And so like, um, these are my two photos that I haven't posted yet. So this is the photo that I just did. So then you can kind of mix and match and see what looks good. Like obviously if I were to post this one next, two selfies next to each other does not make your feed look very good. So, um, I mean, I'm obviously not going to post three of myself in a row, but you get the idea. We'll add in some more content, um, before I post, but then you get an idea. So first shoot of the day done. Now it's time to get dressed in an outfit. That is not reasonable for the weather or to do anything or something that maybe you wouldn't wear out of the house. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I think I look hella cute. Uh, this is not something I would typically wear, um, especially because we're here in Canada and it's super, super cold. So, um, a see-through thin top is, like, definitely a no. Um, I actually love this hat, but I've never worn it out of my house. But if you look at my Instagram, I definitely have posted pictures of me in this hat before. But, um, yeah, it's just not really a hat that you wear when you're going places. And I'll show you why when we leave. But I have the perfect shoes and I think I need accessories. I am in no way an influencer. Um, I have like just over a thousand followers on Instagram and I'm a small YouTuber. Um, I have worked with a couple brands before. I worked with 
um, this watch company called Wally Merck. And honestly, I really like the watch. And then I've been sent like a bathing suit and some earrings. And then my son was like a brand rep for a local company here. And that's kind of like as much as I've done. We're going to do the thing that all the influencers have to do. And we need props. We're going to Starbucks. Holy, I'm freezing my tits off. Okay, this is why you don't, you can't wear these freaking hats. Like, this is how you normally wear them, right? Like, cause that's the trendy way. Okay, you can't even see me. Wow, I'm a horrible influencer. Okay. As soon as I get in, I'm just like knocking. I can't drive, like, it moves around a lot. And then it ends up looking like this, which is not the most terrible look, but it's just like so, I don't know, I cannot drive with this hat on. Good morning, how can I help you today? Hi. Um, I have a bit of a weird request, but I would like an, some kind of iced coffee, but I've never had an iced coffee before, so I don't know how to order it or what to add to it to make it actually taste good. Um, well, okay, if I'm being honest, in my opinion, an iced coffee doesn't taste good. Okay. <laughs> so I like our cold brew. Okay. Um, we can do, but again, if you want iced coffee, if you want to try it, I'll absolutely bring you in for something. Um, we... Have you had cold brew before? No. Okay. So our most popular cold iced drink would be our vanilla sweet cream cold brew. Okay. Um, but then we can also do like like the salted caramel cream cold brew, as well as Irish cream or like cinnamon almond foam. So we can basically do anything, but a vanilla sweet cream is what I would recommend. I have them probably once a shift. It's, it's just very reliable and honestly really tasty. Okay, let's try that in a tall, please. It was like kind of awkward, but <laughs> I wish I had like an influencer catchphrase. Like, you know, um, Anna Zatar from, I don't even know if that's how you say her name, from TikTok. And she's like known for getting her Starbucks drinks. And she's like, another day, another Starbies. Yeah, just create your brand. Way to go, girl. Um, okay, so I asked, as you saw, I asked for, like, an uh, iced coffee when I've never had one before, and I just wanted it to taste good, so he suggested that I get a vanilla cream cold brew. Now, I hate coffee. I hate it. Um, I've never actually, like, drank a cup of coffee before. I've had, like, sips of coffee. Um, I get, like, cream frapp- I get frappuccinos, like the cream ones and sometimes they accidentally put coffee in it and I'm like oh, take it back so I don't drink coffee um, I'm really interested to see what I think of this because he told me iced coffee is not very good so yeah it's um coffee it's a little bitter but I only got a little one and this is just for the picture because all the influencers are always drinking coffee. They've always got photos of their coffee. Um, now, a better idea would be to get a hot coffee because then you can actually drink it and then just use the empty cup as a prop. But I knew I wouldn't like hot coffee because I hate hot drinks. So, yeah. I got this iced coffee. Nope. Nope. Not a fan. Don't think I will ever become a coffee drinker. Okay. So, next thing we have to do is we need to find a location to take some photos. It is a brisk minus eight right now. It's windy, which is perfect photo shoot weather. I'm kidding. Uh, so, it's cold. So I need to find somewhere that's a little bit sheltered and hidden so that people aren't going to watch me um, because as much as influencers want to be watched, they don't want to be watched behind the scenes when they're taking their content. It's weird. 
I'm kind of getting a brick wall vibe is like my thoughts, but I don't know if I can find a brick wall and I don't want to go too far. I'm a lazy influencer, clearly. Um, so I'm going to drive around. I'm in this neighborhood right now um, where I got Starbucks and so I'm going to just drive around and see if there's anything to work with. Okay, first stop, I just went uh, behind the grocery store and I'm like, it's okay back here. It's nothing great, but like you kind of have that clear backdrop. Um, I was hoping for somewhere with no snow because I'm obviously going to get my feet in the picture, but I'm going to take a couple pictures here and I actually am going to try um, the influencer pose when you're like sitting in the car like half out of the car um i don't know we're just gonna like i want to do actual influencer -y looking photos that i personally would never do and it's pretty secluded back here so i'm a fan it's so windy okay well honestly no i hate the ground <laughs> My hat's gotta fly away, and I gotta get my iced coffee. This is not fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, like my, okay, the only thing about this stand is it's a little bit light, which means it can easily blow over. Okay, we're gonna do this quickly. Quit. Oh. I literally can't feel my hands. Ow. Like, <laughs> they hurt. I'm not even trying to be dramatic. They freaking hurt. That was not fun. Um, also, my phone and tripod, like, will not stand up. So I can't, like, actually put it outside or else it's just going to fall over. So that's a fail. What a fun day. Um, uh, I don't know. I really don't know what to do. I need an influencer to ask, hey, what do you do when it's freaking freezing out and you're trying to film content in a cute outfit and you can't feel your fingers and your tripod won't stand up? I don't know. I might go home and film indoor content because I'm not cut out for this, so I'm not an influencer. I just went to look at the photos that I just froze my butt off for, and I forgot to turn on the clicker. So I didn't get a single photo. Gah. <sighs>